Hi guys. It's been a while since I've done a video and um, I really have not really had a lot of a big sale that I went out to. I, I would get things here and there, but we did go shopping today. So I do have a small haul for you and i um, just going to show you a couple things that we got today and just alert, it's wrapped in paper. So you're going to hear some crunching. So just so you know, you can turn the volume down because you can see the items. So, so the first item that we got, <clears throat> I will tell you where we were. I won't tell you where we were because it's a secret, but there is a consignment shop in our area that, um, has higher end stuff. And so we found it and we go there um, every now and then and we really get some good deals on some really nice stuff. And pardon my hair because it's not working with me today. It's not being friendly. So, okay, so let me show you what we got. So the first thing we picked up was a Tanala vase. And what I like different about this is the toucan on it. I haven't seen one with a toucan on it and then a butterfly. This is signed Cetra Tanala, Mexico. So I don't know if Cetra is the person who did it or that's part of Mexico. I don't know, but I really like the Tucan and it's a nice size vase. So it's in really good shape. So that's the first item that I picked up. Now my husband is with me and he has a pretty good eye, so he picked up the next piece, which I hope, I have to see if I have the bottom. It's a candy dish, it's an amber candy dish. I think it's Hazel Atlas, I'm gonna have to check. And that's the lid, which is in great shape. The top is in perfect shape. Now this is, oh, this is not the bottom, let's see. Okay, we'll have to keep digging for the bottom. So this next piece, this was just really cool to me. And look, it's really big. It's a blue pitcher. And I'm taking off my glasses so I can see. It's got an applied handle. It does have some water stains on it, so I will have to clean that. It's pretty nice on the bottom. It is hand blown with a stretched, uh, thing but you can see it's kind of a little cloudy and if you can see that so we will have to put some CLR in that but that was a really good deal that one was a really good deal so we'll see how that goes okay next item I found this and I don't know where I saw but I was on a video the other day on a sale and somebody said I'm looking for hourglass so when I saw this I didn't realize what it was at first and then I looked at it and I was like, oh man. So it's a hand blown hourglass. And you can see it's one piece. It's all one piece of glass. And so I don't know how they got the sand in there. I really don't. But um, the sand is kind of like this greenish color. It's kind of interesting, but it does sift sand. Now I did not check if it really is an hour but it goes very, very slow. And I just thought it was really neat. Can you see the sand going in there? You probably can. So I like that. It's pretty nice size. I just thought it was kind of interesting. Probably I will break it before I get to sell it because it's very delicate and I'm not. All right, I think this is the bottom to the candy dish. That's good. Nope, it's not, it's milk glass. So remember, this was all at the same place. Again, it's a consignment shop, higher end, in a higher end neighborhood. Now, this milk glass is not marked, but it has like grapevine, ruffled edge, probably eight inches, and really in good shape. Very, very pretty. I like that. This is a stopper. I'll show you what that goes to see if I come across it. They like to put all your stuff in bags there. So we go kind of prepared and we wrap our own stuff. So this is a, a dresser perfume 
jar. It's kind of got a ambery color to it. And it's got etched leaves on the side, if you can see that. And the stopper goes with it. So there's no, the edge of the stopper is really not in too bad shape, considering. Um, there is a little chip off, you won't be able to see it, off the bottom there. You can do like a little reflection right there. But it doesn't affect that at all. So that's just a really cute little bottom for a dresser. And then this, oh, I picked this up. I'm gonna, don't laugh because when I first looked at it, I thought it was a Jaws because it's got the little, I don't know, I thought it was a shark mouth and I, I don't understand that. But what it is, it's a sun catcher. It's glass and it's not stained glass, it's colored glass. And the picture, which you're probably not gonna see, let me move this tag off here. Maybe you can see it that way. So the picture is balloons going over the mountains and that's etched on the outside. So yeah, that was kind of neat. I thought that was a nice little piece for people who like balloons. Okay. Big old pile of newspapers going on here. Okay, this was kind of cute. I wish the sugar was there, but it wasn't. This is Fitz and Floyd. And it's an eggplant creamer. And there is a little ding right there. Very small right there. If you can see it. And Fitz and Floyd. And it's in really good shape other than that. It's, it's kind of neat. The handle is like the stem. So if you have a sugar bowl that goes with this, there is the match. Okay, what is this? Oh, I just picked this up because I thought it was really pretty. Um, I Who does it? I don't know. Um, it's a butterfly, little paperweight, um, with like some iridescence, yellow, and this like very pale mint green. You're not gonna see the iridescence. But it's in really good shape. And it's a butterfly, it's not a bird. So that was kind of cute. <clears throat> this is a big vase. Um, I don't know who makes it, but it's not hand blown, it's a mold. But I just thought the color was beautiful. It, it comes across a little cranberry, but it's really more of a soft purple. And I love the optics on it. And it's a nice size vase. So I'll find out more about that. It's a very pinky purple color. This I bought because it was just cool as heck. There goes my hair again. I can't figure it out, kids. I got a haircut and I can't figure it out. Okay, so this is vintage. Um, it's called Arthur Court Designs. You don't see any other information, but it's in its original box, so you can see the box has some wear to it. But let me show you what's inside. It's a crab dish. Oh, it says 1988 Arthur Court. So it's a crab dish, and the back has a really nice design, and then it's marked on the bottom here of crab. And with it came two little forks to pick your crab. And the handle is crab leg. So there's two of these. Now, I think, truthfully, this box had something else in it because it's way too big. Like there's a section here. So I gotta kind of look it up a little bit because I think it might be missing something. Um, the top of it, has a little bit of scratches right there, but I might be able to buff that out, I'm not sure. So, but I just think it was kind of neat in the box. And um, see how that goes. Okay, moving on to the next bag. So that was the box. 
Now we're going to move on to the bag. I did find something for somebody special, and I'm not going to show it because I want them to be surprised. But um, it's kind of neat. Okay, here's the bottom of that candy dish. So again, there's the. I, it's not. I'm pretty sure it's not Viking. I'm thinking it's Hazel Atlas. And there's the dish, and there is the cover. So yeah, he picked that out, and that was a good deal. Yeah, it was. Okay. <laughs> These I probably am not going to sell at a live sale, but um, we do really well with this. It's Fabrique on Italia di Silva, Silva, made in Italy. Italy. So they're like little ramekins or soup bowls. They're in perfect shape. And we sell very well with that brand on eBay. So we got that for our eBay store. I mean, I might try to put them up on a sale, but I don't know um, that there we go. We got four of those. So that's what I'm taking out. And they're all kind of, they're all the same. They're kind of this, like, it look, almost looks like burnt red right and then the, a lighter orange on the inside so they're kind of neat they'd be great because you can bake it's clay so you can bake right in them which is why people like like chefs and that like to use this and um so like you easily could put a little chicken pot pie in there or a little dessert so there's the four of those okay i think this is my last thing is it yeah Okay, so this, yeah, is some Ray Dunn by Magenta, and of course spring is almost gone now, but it does say Ray Dunn, but um, it says happy spring, and there's two sets of them, so I have two happies and two springs. So these are gonna go on eBay. Um, will they sell right now? Probably not because it's, spring is almost gone, but you never know. So I got four of those. So those are a few of the items that I will be bringing to the sale this week, um, which is on Wednesday on Instagram. It's seven o'clock Eastern, four o'clock in Arizona time. <laughs> Um, I don't know for a Pacific or mountain. I never know. I just never know. I can't figure it out. And um, it's not something that I need to rack my brain about. So I will be bringing some of this stuff to Wednesday sale. The hourglass is still going. And um, hope to see you there. It doesn't cost anything to come and visit. And we tell you about the items, so maybe you'll see something that you see your grandmother has, your mother has, and you'll be like, oh, I never knew what that was. So it's a good place to, um, we laugh, we joke, and we have some really good people who come into the sales and talk with, chat with us. So we hope you can come. If you can't come, you can always re-watch the video. Um, this week it's on Two Glassy Sisters, that's my partners, and so it'll be on their channel, so we always replay the video. So if something doesn't sell and you see it, you're always welcome to give us a DM, and if it's still available, we'll shoot you a price. Same as um, our eBay store. So both the Two Glassy Sisters and us, we have eBay stores. You're always welcome to go into our eBay stores, look around. If you see something, DM us. Um, usually on Instagram is the easiest way because you never know. You know, um, maybe we can give you a good deal. You never know. Uh, we do ship from Arizona. I ship from Arizona. The girls ship from Maryland. And I have another box to open, which is something I purchased, but I'm not going to do that right now. And I hope to see you at the sale. I hope you like the items that I got today. And if you see anything you like, even before the sale, you can always DM me and I'll shoot your price. In the meantime, have a good week. See you Wednesday on Instagram. The channel is Chrissy's Corner for the number four collectors, unlike YouTube. And thanks for watching.